Hi, my name's Hannah. I'm a podiatrist here at Penn Farm. That means my job is all about helping people look after their feet. My children have been really enjoying listening to stories read to them by their teachers or by my friends that have put videos up. So I thought I would read you one of my favorite books from here at work. Um, it is called The Queen's Feet. The Queen's Feet. Once there was a queen called Queen Daisy who had a great deal of trouble with her feet. Those feet did not want to behave themselves in a royal way at all. Those feet did not want to wear proper shoes. Sometimes they wanted to wear big yellow gumboots or fuzzy slippers with faces. Sometimes they wanted to wear heavy boots to crash up and down stairs or rubber thongs that flip-flop when they walked. Sometimes they wanted to wear sandals to show off the Queen's special striped socks or her purple painted toenails. Sometimes those feet didn't want to wear any shoes at all. Even when the Queen forced her feet to dress properly, they would not act properly. One day she was christening a new ship. These feet made her climb right up the rigging to the crow's nest and dance the hornpipe. Another time during a very long speech at a royal dinner, the queen's feet took her down to the kitchen and kept her there telling knock knock jokes to the cook until all the important people went home. Once, Queen Daisy had to be polite to a whole garden full of ladies in large hats. That day, the royal feet made the queen walk right out of her shoes and right into a pond where the goldfish tickled her toes. The queen's feet were particularly naughty at balls. They would suddenly begin kickboxing or doing the splits or tuck dancing on the marble palace floors. One day, the Queen's feet went too far. King Marvin was visiting from the next door kingdom. He was mean, he was a bully, he thought he was the boss of everyone. The Queen's feet felt as though they were being stepped on. Finally, they could stand it not they could not stand it another minute, and one of them kicked the king in the ankle. They were wearing hiking boots that day, and King Marvin went home very angry. Queen Daisy wrote a long letter in her best printing to say she was very sorry for the bad behaviour of her feet. But her people said, Your Majesty, it is not enough. Something must be done about those feet once and for all. So the Queen and the Queen's feet invited all the sages, wise women, wizards, fairy godmothers and of course footmen to the land, in the land to a meeting. It was a very long discussion. Some people got cross, some people sulked, some people snoozed, and everybody's feet got very restless. But finally, they sorted it out. The Queen's feet agreed to behave royally most of the time. They would wear proper shoes, walk quietly, dance sedately, and stay out of puddles. But for one hour each day, the hour when the afternoon slips into the evening, the Queen's feet could be footloose and fancy free. They could cut up, act out and carry on. They could raise a ruckus and kick up a fuss. For one hour each day, the Queen's feet ruled. From that time on, the only trouble Queen Daisy had with her feet was that sometimes after a day of presentations and proclamations, they got tired. When that happened, she would stay at home in the evening and share a lemon popsicle with her husband, Prince Fred. He would give her feet a good rub. And that was very nice for both of them. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope you liked it too. I thought there might be some things that you could do at home. Firstly, would you like to paint me a picture or do me a drawing of what sorts of shoes you would wear if you were the Queen's feet? Would you wear fluffy slippers? Would you wear polka dot wellies? Would you wear pink flip flops? Uh, draw me a picture 
and get your mum to take a photo and send it in to me. I'd love to see some pictures of some funny feet. Secondly, if you had misbehaving feet, what would they do? Would they walk loudly? Would they kick leaves? Would they try and step in some puddles? So go outside and think of some things that misbehaving feet might do. Thirdly, the prince gave the queen a nice foot rub after a long day when her feet were a bit tired. Would you like to put a bit of cream in your mummy's or daddy's feet? Give them a bit of a foot rub and see if you can make their feet feel better, just like the prince made the queen's feet feel better. Thank you. Bye.